Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video we are going to set up a recurring payment with uh, Stripe. First things first, we need to log in into stripe.com. So this is basically uh, what you'll find if you write down uh, stripe.com and we have to create ourselves an account. I really think that uh, all of you already watching have uh, account, but if you don't, on top right corner, we have sign in option. And uh, here you can sign into your account. We have email, password protection, and all the way down, we have sign up option. So all we have to do is click on sign up. And here we are. A GPS in your phone or in your device, in your computer, will show your uh, your country if you're not using VPN. And then all you have to do is address your email, full name, and also the password. Uh, you are not allowed to use Gmail or, uh, well, not allowed to use Gmail. Uh, there is not an option for you to log in straight away with your Gmail account. You have to write it down or with your, with your Apple ID. So, uh, sorry for, for misleading, you can for sure use Gmail account. Once you create yourselves an account, let's go in here. As you can see, sorry, misclick. Uh, I should continue activating payments. Uh, I stopped because uh, all you have to do or all the thing I'm missing is bank details. And I don't really feel like sharing them with you on this video, even though I trust you but just to be safe. So how to set up a recurring payment? What we have to do is go to products. It's on this uh, top bar that uh, we, can, uh, we can use and we can utilize. And all we have to do now is in top right corner, click on add product. So first things first, what is the name? Let's go with online coaching. Uh, let's go with IT classes for beginners. Very nice uh, thing is we can upload ourselves and, uh, and logo. So I'm going to use it. It works straight away. We can use additional option statement description, unit label. You can also add a metadata, but uh, I'm not going to use it. Let's keep it simple. And uh, then let's go to price information. With pricing model, we have standard pricing, package pricing, graduated pricing, volume pricing, and customer chooses price. Let's go with standard. The price will be in euros. Obviously, you can go with Bulgarian LEF or Bangladeshi Taka or Albanian LEC, but uh, let's stay with euros. And the price will be 50 euros. So you can also add more currencies, but yeah, whatever. Then we can pick recurring or one time payment. We want to start with recurring since uh, we want to create those recurring payment from Stripe in here. We can uh, switch to billing period. Defaultly, you go monthly, but you can go uh, daily, weekly, monthly, every th uh, two months, which is uh, once a quarter, every half a year, yearly, and custom. If you go with custom, you go with every, and then you pick, for example, 15 days. Okay, usage is uh, metered. We can meter it, but in our case, we doesn't really have to. And we can also add another price, but yeah, we can forget that and save the product. Once we're in here, we see the sum of, uh, of our online coaching. So it's updated MRR. It's uh, date as of April, April 3rd, 
We have name online coaching, description IT classes for beginners, created April 3rd. Price, API ID, uh, subscriptions. We have a lot of uh, lot of options in here. It's a default. Uh, if you want, you can use it with integrations with uh, Shopify. For though for that, you need the API ID. So just like that, I don't know what I did. Let's go back. Okay, metadata logs and events. And uh, that's what we have here. So online coaching is already already done. And we can uh, edit product. But what we want to do when we go to uh, payments, and we have uh, overview here and we want to create a new payment we can go to uh, payment links for example and add a new one title we can uh, go to products or subscriptions and find a product and here it is it's a uh, 50 euro every 15 days quantity of one and then we can just go with a customary collect customer address Billing and shipping address. Require a customer to provide a phone number. Yeah, we can do that. But all of those are pretty obnoxious. So, yep. Add a custom, uh, a custom fields, for example, for questions of a customer. And then we have advanced options. Allow promotion codes, allow business uh, customers to provide uh, tax IDs. So, that's about it. Once uh, you feel like you're done, all we have to do is create a link. Once you create a link, you can copy it or get a QR code. Once you copy it, go like this. And uh, yeah, this is how it looks like. It's a Slovakian uh, free call. You can change it, obviously, and pay with Google Pay or pay with link. The other stuff that you can utilize is QR code. Once you'll get a QR code, you can easily scan it and uh, or download the image and, for example, print it. So uh, if someone wants to really, really, really uh, get that online coaching of you, you'll just show them the QR code, for example, on your mobile phone. He can. Uh, he can uh, basically scan it with uh, his mobile phone app and pay you the money that he owes you. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any types of questions, I'll leave them underneath this video and I'll get back to you shortly. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.